right? Be more specific. <laughs> it's the idiot who always shows up when you call in the middle of the night. Oh, Celia. <laughs> I got your text. <sighs> You know you're not supposed to be watching scary movies when your six-year-old's not here to comfort you. <laughs> Let me have it. Uh, Sherry. <laughs> it was four good-looking teenagers trapped in an abandoned lake house. What could go wrong? <laughs> the walls were bleeding. Sherry, the walls were bleeding. <laughs> Sherry, I can't keep coming over here at 1 o'clock in the morning. The Reverend has this funny idea I'm married to him. Well, it wasn't just the movie. I heard a noise. Was it the heat going on again? Yes. <laughs> Sweetie, I know you don't like being alone, but don't worry, you're not. Hey, do you want to sleep over? We could do what we used to do back in the day. Order pizza and pretend like it didn't get here in 30 minutes. Again, married to the Reverend. You know what? Why don't you go out and do more stand-up? You love that. I have been working on some new material. Okay, well, let me hear it. Okay. It's just a cute relationship bit. Hey, how y'all doing? So, my ex-husband just cheated on me. And I had a dream that I stepped on his neck with my high heel shoe and it went all the way through. He's dead, people. Who's with me? What are you doing? Ordering pizza. Oh, let me get my stopwatch. Oh my God, you guys. Have you seen this new gym that just opened up next door? It's so fancy that they have people to work out for you. <laughs> it's the Paradigm Gym. I would kill to get in there, but it's so expensive. Yeah. I don't spend money to work out. I just chase my six-year-old around all day in high heels. <laughs> I could crack a walnut off these calves. <laughs> My last health club was a stationary bike and a fat guy smoking outside my uncle's gym. I think I was a guest there once. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. They have a two-for-one discount for married couples. Hey, some of that could be a way in. The discounted rate also applies to same-sex couples. Widen the net if you catch my drift. <laughs> I tried. One rainy afternoon in college. Huh, didn't take. Oh, plus, she stole my duck shoes. <laughs> It might be worth a second try for chilled water and heated toilet seats. <laughs> okay, I think we all know where this is going. Who wants to be a pretend married couple with me so we can get the half rate? I just got out of a long marriage. <laughs> I could be convinced, you know. Celia, how about you? You know I would, I really would, but I don't want to. <laughs> Hello? You and me? I don't know. I always envisioned myself in a pretend lesbian interracial couple. <laughs> hey, let's go crazy. <gasps> this is gonna be so much fun. We can wear matching outfits. I see your point. A black girl would have been a lot cooler. Yeah. That's why it's my first instinct. Yeah. I don't know why I'm looking for new comedy material. Two great jokes just walked out the door. <laughs> hey, you know what? I've been thinking. You can really do me a favor. I know you have your own church, but ours is just getting started and we need everything. Hymnals, pews, heat. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I'll write you a check. But don't cash it until a week from this Thursday. <laughs> no, no, um, I'm throwing a fundraiser and I would love for you to be the entertainment. Oh, you're always talking about that blind guitarist. Get him. <laughs> oh, come on, Sherry. This is a big deal for me. You know, I'm the new first lady at the church, and, well, it's taking the congregation a whole lot of hallelujahs and amens to warm up to me. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. Now, if my jokes don't work, I can always crack a walnut off these calves. <laughs> your paradigm fitness orientation ladies thank you and that cucumber water really hit the spot mm -hmm. we just can't wait to check out the seam room <laughs> you are adorable <laughs> now enjoy your memberships and remember working out five days a week might not make you happy but happy camping in a bikini <laughs> what should we do first honey i don't know darling <laughs> scam too but i'm not doing it with someone i actually care for i know right oh this looks interesting 
New to the paradigm, the Cybex Arc Trainer. It's the only one in the gym. It's like the single straight man of gym equipment. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Oh. What do we do now? Oh, I guess we just wait. <clears throat> Over there. <laughs> this is weird. You and me, we don't really have anything to talk about. I'm thinking maybe we got married too soon. <laughs> is a success, Celia. I was telling your husband out front, Fellowship Central down the street, got a church bus. We don't want to lose anybody. Because they could pick us up. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't worry about that. Okay, you need to be extremely funny. I just got the hat. Okay, calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. I got my best stuff. I will nail this for you. All right, well, just remember, it's church. So no divorce, no sex, no dating. Remember, you never told me that. That's my entire act. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you all for coming out. Please welcome my best friend and a funny, funny Christian, <laughs> Sherry Robinson. Too full? A collection plate. <laughs> you see what I did? We're trying to raise money and we have to fill up the plate. Can I get a what what for the plate plate? <laughs> Does anybody know uh, what's funny about a church? Seriously, that's the question I'm asking. Does anybody know what's funny about a church? <laughs> oh, hey, look at there. My own resurrection. <laughs> mother I wanted to be born again and she said the heck you are it hurt too much the first time <laughs> oh and let's give it up for these lovely hats you ladies are wearing if the five of you stood together you could have covered parking <laughs> oh and your dear beloved first lady and my good friend Celia she bought a beautiful hat Celia doesn't store hers in a hat box. She keeps it down in a warehouse down by the river. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Sherry, you were great. They loved you. Oh, girl, what's not to love? Sherry Robinson's funny is back and ready to attack. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. I really scored some first lady points tonight. Oh. Look at them. Look at them. Here they come. I hate the gushing. <laughs> you oh, were you so was so good. Oh, Joy, you, 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 you wrote all that down. I did. Yeah. 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 Oh, you yeah. made him come so oh, oh, here. Oh, 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 I'm so tired of waiting for this woman every time we come here. She totally ignores the 20 minute time limit. I'm getting in there. Angie, Angie, no, no, don't call attention to us. Just, just be patient. You're right. So what do we do, just stand here and stare at each other speechless? <laughs> it's my prom all over again. <gasps> at least you got to go to yours. I couldn't get in mine because my date was dirty. Well, you think that's embarrassing? <laughs> So I wore glasses until college. <laughs> Corrective shoes until last year. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? That wasn't it? No. <laughs> I actually needed glasses in high school, but between being president of the Trekkies and my obsession with the band Menudo, <laughs> I didn't want to be the weird girl, so I never got them. Glasses were the things you were worried about. <laughs> <laughs> now you tell me a secret. Well, I've never really admitted this to anyone, but... My sisters with their husbands and their babies and their humdrum lives. I sometimes wish I had that. Mm. Plus also, I know where Jimmy Rinaldi is buried. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Nobody knows where Jimmy Rinaldi is buried. <laughs> you know, put a 
inside your loose morals and your clownish fashion sense, and you're really fun to hang out with. I'm telling you, I killed him. I brought him back, and then I killed him again. If the church had aisles, they'd be rolling in them. Well, I'm glad it went well. Oh, uh -uh. went well is an understatement. <laughs> I got that from you earlier. Oh, hey, Celia, tell Angie about my standing ovation. A lady in a wheelchair even stood up. That's right, I was a hit, and I healed the sick. Well, to be honest, old lady Lewis has some pretty severe nerve damage. Those spasms knock her off the chair about every 10 minutes. But she laughed through a spasm. You know, for anybody to laugh through excruciating pain, I wish I could. <laughs> And they're bringing me back for a command performance on Sunday. That's their biggest day. Excuse me? As a special guest, they want to honor me for all the money I raised. I thought it was your idea. Believe me, it was not my idea. <laughs> oh, you know what? Just take credit for it, because they're bringing me back as genius. <laughs> it's my second coming. Oh, second coming. Write that down. That's good. <laughs> I'll be right back. I just need to send up a quick prayer for patience and strength. Well, what are you guys doing here? Sherry made me come. <laughs> and the little missus tagged along. Are you two still doing that? Truth be told, we're looking into the tax implications. <laughs> Mrs. Merritt, is that a new purse? No, 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 it's old. Well, we got our first pew. The Reverend is on his way back with it right now. Talk about a miracle. Mm. That thing fit in our hatchback. When, when is Sherry getting here? Oh, well, she should be mm -hmm. here any sec. Your church sure loves Sherry. Well, what's not to love? <laughs> Well, does it say, I'm here, I'm holy, and praise the Lord? <laughs> hey, what was that? Did you just give me the hat? Did she just give me the hat? I think she gave you the hat. Uh, Celia? Celia, what's with the hatitude? <laughs> have had too. <laughs> I wish I had a hat. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who helped make our fundraiser such a success. And we're going to bring on our special guest, Sherry Robinson. But first, but first, I'd just like to give Sherry my own personal thanks. Mm -hmm. Sherry, this is for you. <laughs> them that's got shall get, them that's not shall lose. So the Bible says, and it still is news. Mama may have, and Papa may have, but God bless the child who's got his own, who's got his own. Mama. God bless the child who's got his own, who's got his own. So sweet. <laughs> and now, Sherry Robinson. <laughs> Follow that. I'm Shut, but I can't anymore. Okay, I'll take care of this baby. 
Excuse me, miss. Your time is up. You need to get off now. I beg your pardon? Oh, no begging required. Just get your well-toned fanny off the machine. Shouldn't you be gathering sweaty towels? <laughs> Nobody talks to my woman that way. Your woman? Please. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Do you have a problem with ladies who exercise together? No, I have a problem with ladies scamming together. <gasps> is there a problem here? There certainly is. We did not purchase our gym membership to watch this woman hog the best machine in the mm -hmm. place. If you're over the time limit, you're in violation of gym policy. Really? Well, what's the gym policy for paying a couple's rate when you're not even a couple? We are a couple. Angie Gillardi. Gillardi. Is my lady. <laughs> My life partner, my wife. <laughs> yeah, and she is all of those words to me. Right, well, the next time you want to pull a scam on a gym, don't use your outside voices while you're waiting for the machine. If this is true, I'm gonna have to ask for you to return your key card. You cannot take my key card. I just made a little pouch for it. <laughs> I know how I can settle this. Quick, her birthday. When is it? My lady love was born January 7th. <gasps> yeah. At noon, mm -hmm. in a cab in the parking lot of a liquor store. <laughs> we were picking up my dad. <laughs> her allergies? Uh, this is so crazy. They could be making this up. If you really want to know if they're a couple, 